Welcome to Other Levels. In today's video, we will continue to learn how you can create a dynamic sales growth and net profit margin dashboard in Excel without using pivot tables and slicers. Only by using the Excel Spinner and Options buttons. Visit our online store other-levels.com to get our templates or the dataset. And for training and practicing, you can now download the dataset for this dashboard for free from our website. In the first video tutorial, we finished creating and modifying the dataset sheet. We will use the same layout to create the dashboard. So, we will copy this sheet and name it Dashboard. Now delete the two data tables. Both sheets layout must be exactly the same. We will now add a hyperlink to the menu icon, to be able to navigate between the dataset and the dashboard. The sheet is now ready. Let's start by inserting the three rectangles that contain the main values. Adjust its size and position. Add a shadow to this shape. Press Ctrl plus Shift, then drag to the right to duplicate it. Select them all, and then distribute horizontally. We will add the total purchases items, sales, and the final profits. To save your precious time, we decided to create the design of the equations in advance, and we will suffice to clarify the equations used directly. Now link the titles. Set the font size to 18, and bold. From the Developer tab, insert an Option button. Delete the button name. Duplicate it twice. Next insert a spinner. Let's move them to the formula sheet to configure them. For the option buttons, we will set them up in the next video tutorial. Firstly, we will create the horizontal year bar, which will be able to move dynamically. The years listed in this data table from 2019 to 2023. We will write the years manually here first, in descending order. 
And if you will get by this template and your data for different years, so you must update this table as your needs. Select the spinner, then right click, choose format center. Set the current value to be 2023, the minimum value will be 2019, and the maximum value will be 2023, as per our current data set. And finally for the cell link, choose the cell which will show the selected year. Then click OK. Now the spinner button working perfectly. In these nine cells, we'll add the formulas to make the selected years move dynamically. First, link the fifth cell to the E4 cell, then we'll add formulas to the above four cells. Let's start with the fourth cell. The formula is simple, type equal. If the cell E4 value equals to 2019 or 2020 or 2021, or 2022. So, add cell G8 value, plus 1, and if false, keep the cell blank. As you can see, if we choose any year from 2019 to 2022, the cell shows the year that follows, if 2023 is selected, the cell will be empty. Copy the formula, and then paste it into the third cell. But we will change the year's range to be from 2019 until 2021. Paste it into the second cell as well, but we will change the year's range to be from 2019 until 2020. And for the first cell, we will change the formula to be if E4 equals to 2019 only. Finally, change the number that will be added if the formula was true, in the third cell, make it 2. And in the second cell, make it 3. And 4 for the first cell formula. As you can see, whenever the number of years decreases, the remaining years are distributed in the first four cells. We will also apply the previous formulas to the cells below, with two changes. First, switch the selected years in reverse. Replace the plus sign with a minus sign. We finished creating this idea, let's add it to the dashboard now. Insert text boxes. Link the text boxes to the cells in order.
That's all for today's video. Hope you learned something useful for you. On the other hand, you have an easy way to directly purchase this template from our website other-levels.com. Thank you, and see you in next video.